Hi, and welcome to my channel, The Jurassic Jungle, a Dorset bungalow renovation. So we decided to put this YouTube channel together based on requests from friends and family that wanted to follow our journey, but also thought it might be useful for others taking on similar projects. So we'd been looking to move to Dorset from Milton Keynes for quite some time and decided on Bridport. It's a vibrant town, has a market, a lovely small harbour down at West Bay. And we've been looking for quite a while and trying to find the right property and Covid brought us challenges with being able to go and view um, and really struggled. So there was very little new built property that met our needs. We were quite specific about the location we wanted, roughly halfway between the coast and the town. Um, the little that was on the market when it did become available was sold before we could travel down to view it. So in the summer of 2021 we decided to mail shop a number of streets posted 50 notes through people's doors and thankfully one of those properties came back to us saying they were considering selling. We couldn't, we couldn't find any properties that really had what we wanted. What we wanted was an open plan living space, a gym and a large garage and workshop for myself. What we bought was a 50 year old two bedroom bungalow but on a good sized plot but exactly halfway between the town and the sea. We planned to turn most of the existing bungalow into three bedrooms and three bathrooms and add a large 65 square meter open plan living space. On the other side of the property, a 50 square meter workshop, uh, gym and study. Um, so roughly doubling the size of the property from 80 to 160 square meters. While I'm no builder, I have fitted bathrooms and kitchens in the past and have an electronics background and dabbled with home automation for the last 20 years. And this time we tend to take what we've learnt from those jobs and try and get everything right the first time, at least we hope to anyway. The bungalow was owned previously by an elderly couple who were struggling to maintain the garden. Um, it's about a quarter of an acre in total, so quite a decent sized plot. And much of that garden was overgrown and we couldn't even get to, to one of the sheds because of all of the shrubs that were in the way. We moved in last summer and had a lot of help to clear some of the garden from family. And our plan is to remove some of the slope and install a gabion wall when we do the landscaping uh, later on. Um, we bought a digger uh, uh, in December to help through the length of the project. It's been invaluable to have that. I was able to use it to dig a pit for an infiltration test for, uh, for a soakaway installation. We actually recorded a, th a 360 video when we came to view the property. Um, so why don't you take a, a look around the gardens as they were and you'll get to see how they've changed as we go through this project. Uh, now people will know that I always want the latest in technology so we've got some um, extensive plans to uh, to make the property as efficient as we possibly can. We want to put in underfloor heating throughout the property, um, solar, battery, charging point for my AV vehicle. Um, we're on the fence at the moment about moving to an air source heat pump or staying with gas and that will depend a little bit on a couple of issues around what the um, heat loss calculations turn out to be for the design. Um, also whether we would need to go for three phase power to be able to power the air source heat pump and have the electric car charger as well. Um, we also plan a great deal of, of home automation. So I have a home automation system installed, uh, fully wired that will control the lighting, the heating, security, possibly audio as well. Um, we plan to do a lot of the uh, electrical installation for that ourselves. Thankfully we've got a, an electrician that lives close by who's agreed to supervise us doing the installation, help with second fix, certification and sign off 
of, uh, of all of that work. Now, with prices of materials continuing to rise, it's making the project a little bit difficult to budget, as you can imagine. So we've got some of the features that are must-haves and others that will be nice to have, and particularly in that home automation front. So, you know, we plan to wire for everything so that some of that functionality, things like automated shading, um, could be added later if we needed because the wires are in place ready for it. So, so far, we've completed a lot of the demolition work. We've taken down the garage, the large porch that used to be my home office. Um, I mentioned that we want underfloor heating, so we'll have to remove all of the existing floors because we want all of that underfloor heating poured in, in one go to keep uh, good levels across the building. So we're going to have to move out for a few months. Um, there isn't really short-term rental property here other than holiday accommodation, which obviously be quite expensive uh, to stay in for several months. So we're looking at the exciting prospect of a caravan in the garden uh, to live in through the summer. So I hope that you're interested in what we're doing. We plan to give you know, regular updates as we go through the stages, looking at reviewing the technologies that we're putting in, the choices that we make, um, the successes and challenges that we have as we go through all of this. So our builder starts um, to build the shell in uh, just a week and a half from now. Um, he says he should be finished by the end of September, October, but we've obviously got bathrooms, kitchens, doors, decoration, all of that work that we plan to do ourselves. Um, so hopefully be in, in some form before Christmas. So so please, I'd like you to like, click and subscribe to follow the journey that we have here at the Jurassic Jungle, a Dorset bungalow renovation. Um, I'm sure you're going to find it interesting with the success and challenges that we have as we go through this project. Thank you.